So now we're going to the shelter. I have no fosters for the dogs I have, and I have a weakness for a dog over at the shelter that I'm going to go check out. I can't go in the shelter. I'll walk out with 500 dogs. So Can you, know you bring what? the dog Maybe out? I'll bring the dog out, OK? Oh, he's so oh, cute. Oh, sweetheart. What happened to your little lady? <laughs> it's not his hip. It feels like it's his knee. It's his, yeah, it's his left. It's cruciate. It's your cruciate, isn't it, baby? There's a lump right here. Oh, look at this. It's like a... Um... It looks like a tick, but it's not. It's a growth. Oh. Bless his little heart. Sweetie love, you look really like you need a little bit of love. OK, well, I'll take him. I can't say no now. What am I going to do, let him go in there and die? Look at how happy he is. Yay. He's got a show. Your first dog working with me. What are you going to name it? He looks like a Franklin. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the dog over to Dr. Gralix. He's going to get his, his hips and his legs x-rayed. And then we're going to get him into a foster home, and then we're going to try to get him home. Dean's the best pet in the world. Thanks. Why don't you come on back? Okay, let's go check out Franklin. There he is. You smell like roses. You smell like roses. So we removed the growth and um, we actually groomed him. You ready to go? Uh, We're gonna go to our new foster home. How can someone dump a dog at the pound that's ten years old? Nice to meet you, Felicia. Craig, nice to meet you. There he is. The star. The man of the hour. Yes, how are you doing? So how's it going with him? How, how is everything going? Great. He's a very happy dog. And it's really sweet that you guys adopted an older dog. I think it's a really selfless thing to do. You know what I mean? Because, you know, older dogs aren't around as long, but they still have just as much love to give and just as much of a heart. This is Foster's house, and apparently a car is hidden, and you can see where Oh, it's swollen right there. Does that hurt, baby boy? Does that hurt? You look under here. Too. Just let me know. The problem with any of the bully breeds, they have such a high tolerance for pain that the bully breeds, you, you can, sometimes you can't tell if they're really hurt. A lot of the other dogs, like labs, are babies. <laughs> but bully breeds, you know, he's a Dogo Argentino mix, which is kind of part of the pit bull, American bulldog family. Boomer came from the Hurricane Katrina disaster. A bunch of people went down there and brought a bunch of dogs back that were very, very sick and emaciated. And he's one of them. Look at him. He's so beautiful. He's not crying there. He's not crying on the hips. It's OK. I uh, got my vet tech certificate right out of high school, so I was a vet tech. But that was a little while ago. <laughs> so some of the things are a little bit different now, like some of the medications I don't know as well. But as far as I do all my own IVs on the dogs, I stitch the dogs up. It just saves a lot of money for the foundation. And it's easy. It's like, you know, for us to go to a vet and have this done right now will cost us 500 bucks. For me to do it, it costs probably 30 cents. Hi, Boomer! Oh, Boomer, 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 Boomer! Oh, you're oh. oh. Do you love these? Do you, oh, I know. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Do you have to sit and do that. Oh, very good oh, boy. Sucks. How is he doing? Oh, he's doing great. Well. Is he really? He's not limping or anything after? He hasn't been little... limping, and his scar over here, you can see the hair is already starting to grow back a little bit. Oh, it is. Oh, it's so great. Oh, Boomer, did you score? Do you guys love him? Yes. Oh, we They're having so him. much fun. Today, I'm shopping for my new client, Kristen Bell. She's the hot, young TV star who plays Veronica Mars. For a bathtub for just a dog. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. We're going to make a doggy outdoor paradise and a Kristen outdoor paradise. We started excavating the other day, and now we're building the frame for the tub. I want it bigger. It's not big enough. No? No, I don't. That's exactly what we talked about the other night. I know, but I'm looking at it now, so. I knew she would change her mind today. I knew it. We came out today. It's too small. It's too small. You got to pull it out. I brought the painting, too. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, let me see it. Oh, that's cute, Verdell. Very cute. Uh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Verdell is going to stencil an elaborate pattern for me on the porch. She has a couple choices for me to pick from. Do you think this is too kitschy? I mean, you did a great job. I just think this is the people hangout area. OK, take the dog stuff out of it. I think it's going to take at least a day to cut the stencils. I'm a little worried. We've got like one day to get all this done. Whoa. 
see. Yeah, one more and you're good. I'm a flower whore. I love flowers. I don't want anybody buying from me. I want to buy them myself because I don't own anybody anything. Kristen. Hey. Hi. You got to come check this out. I can't wait to it's see so it. It's so cool. I mean, it's... <gasps> I love it. It's so beautiful. Let's get everybody out here. Do you want to get the doggies out here? Come on. We'll come out here and see what's going on because we're going to have a little party. When we started, this backyard needed some help. Now it's a pooch-friendly paradise. I absolutely love how it turned out. Your backyard is complete. Yes, it is. Look what they you got. They have no idea. You got your doggy door. Did you like the doggy I door? I loved it. She actually went through on her own. She was the first she one that did? did it. Yeah. You got your doggy door with Shaky, Sadie, and Lola. Lola. I got you a, a poops de doops. Oh my God, it. fantastic! So we don't have to carry it through the house <laughs> to, the, to the garage. That's so nice. And, and look at this hammock. Isn't it amazing? It's gorgeous. I was like lounging in it this afternoon. I'm like, oh my God, I don't oh, want to get out of here. It. So this is for the little dogs, just to like go in and hang out and do their little Shaky, thing. Shaky, this is your house. Shaky, yes. Come on, guys. Get your little house. Holy man, house. look at that. He's like, I don't know what's going She's on. Like, oh. So then up here we have the furniture. Oh, it's nice. nice. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. I and love it's like it. livable out here now. Like this makes me want to come outside. These are for them when they're sunning themselves out. And then back there is her little water bed. So she can, I know she used to dig in the dirt back there. So um, I got this bed. It's an outdoor bed that stays cold. So she won't have the desire to dig in the dirt so yeah. she can stay cold, small, medium, and large. Shaky, Shaky Lola, Lola Sadie. Sadie. This is the best part of the whole backyard. This is the doggy outdoor hot and cold running dog bath. <laughs> Look at these doggy towels. They go over the dog? What, you're gonna die. You put your hands in like this, <gasps> and then you wash them. Lather her up. Good girl, Sadie. Yes, little rubber dubber dubber does. Oh, honey, do you wanna put your goggles on? Let's put the doggles on from Petaroo. Do you want some doggles? I'd love some doggles. Do you want some doggles? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice, we're doggling. Nice. Doggling in the dog bath. And I think I want to come over here and have someone give me a bath. That's so uh, welcoming, which is exactly what I was looking for. Carrie brought so many functional ideas about where we'd want to sit, where we'd want to eat, and just playing with the dogs and keeping them cool. It, there were so many ideas I wouldn't have ever thought of. It's gorgeous. For more designer to the stars, check out we.tv.